In this video, I will show you how to install Anaconda Python on the Windows operating system. Installing Anaconda Python is a prerequisite for continuing with the Python crash course. So you can see here that I've navigated to anaconda.com forward slash download in my browser, and that brings me to the Anaconda distribution free download page. I'm going to make an assumption that you only know a little bit about Python. For example, that you know that Python is a programming language. One of the things that you might not know is that installing Python, downloading additional packages and libraries that you need to do analytics and data science and managing all that is actually kind of a pain. So Anaconda is a company that provides a value added service. What they do is they provide a distribution of Python that includes the base Python programming language as well as thousands of the most fundamental data science, AI, and machine learning packages. Anaconda's goal is to be everything you need to get started in data science on your workstation. Basically, what Anaconda has done is worked out all the bugs and all the dependencies, and they give you a really nice and easy install experience. So we're going to be using the Anaconda distribution of Python in this crash course. Also, just so you know, if you're interested in Python and Excel, Microsoft is using the Anaconda distribution of Python behind the scenes to run Python and Excel formulas. So that's an added bonus of using Anaconda Python in this crash course. Okay, so what you can see here on the website is they've detected that I'm running the Windows operating system and I can download the installer. So if I click download, it says, hey Dave, where would you like to download your Anaconda installer? Let's say, the downloads folder on Windows is just fine. So I'll go ahead and click save. And that'll download the installer to my laptop here. Okay, so the download took a second to run. And if I click up here in my Chrome browser, you can see I've downloaded the executable for the installer. So what I can do here is just click on that, or I can double click it from my downloads folder in the Windows Explorer. And when I click this, it's gonna start up the install experience. Now this might take a second or two for it to fire up, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video. Okay, you can see here that I've got the Anaconda installer up and running. I can just go ahead and click next. Please read the licensing agreement. And I have to bore you with a little bit of legalese CYA here. <laughs> Generally speaking, if you're using Anaconda for educational purposes only, it's completely free. If you're going to use Anaconda Python for any sort of enterprise application, be sure to check the license agreement to make sure that you're in compliance or contact Anaconda to see what you need to do to be in compliance. Okay, but we're using this for purely educational purposes right now, so we're just gonna go ahead and click Agree. And usually you just wanna install it for just yourself. Go ahead and accept the default destination folder. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is also take this recommended checkbox here for clearing the cache upon completion. And you can just leave this one unchecked and then go ahead and click install. The install of Anaconda is pretty beefy. It's four to five gigs on your laptop. So this might take a while. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the recording while this is being installed. Okay, that installation took quite a bit of time, but it's completed. So I just go ahead and click next in the installer and I click next. And I don't need to launch Anaconda Navigator or get started with the Anaconda distribution because I'm gonna go ahead and install another package. So I'm gonna go ahead and close all this down. While Anaconda comes with thousands of packages, it doesn't come with everything. And one package that's very, very useful that I'm gonna use in this crash course is something called Plot9. So we need to install that into our Anaconda environment. So the easiest way to do that is to use the Anaconda prompt. So on Windows, I can go down here to the search, and you can see here, Anaconda Prompt. I could type it in as well, but I have got it right here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on it. And Anaconda Prompt is a command line utility for manipulating your Anaconda environment. And one of the most useful utilities is something called Conda, C-O-N-D-A. And Conda is how you're going to reach across the internet and grab libraries and packages that you need to add to your Anaconda distribution installation so that you can do cool things. Like in our case, do cool data visualizations. So what we wanna do is have Conda install. And what we need to do is connect to a repository that holds the Plot9 library. So that's called Conda Forge. This is also known as a channel, hence the, hence the dash C. 
and we type in plot9. That's our library. Now when I hit enter, what's going to happen is Conda is going to go check my installation of Anaconda, get a list of all of the packages I already have installed, what versions they are, and then go check against plot9 and figure out what plot9 needs and then reconcile everything. And as you can see here, I've got this little rotating forward slash. This might take a little bit of time. So as long as that's spinning, you know it's working. So just go ahead and be patient and just let it run. So what I'm going to do here is pause the video while this is all chugging away behind the scenes. What you can see here is the end result of all this work that Conda did. It says, I'm going to need to download some of these packages, Dave, and some of these will be some new ones and some that are going to be updated. And would you like to proceed? And the answer is, heck yeah, I'd like to proceed. So I type in Y and hit enter. And then all this stuff gets downloaded and Conda updates my environment. You can see you're done and done and then done. And now I am good to go. You can see here that I'm good to go. So I can go ahead and close this down. I don't need this anymore. Plot9 is now installed in my base Conda environment. Now the application that we're going to use in this crash course is called Anaconda Navigator, and we're mainly going to use it as a launch pad for Jupyter Notebook, which will be the subject of a future video. So we're going to go ahead and go back to search. We can type in Anaconda Navigator and get it, or as you can see here, I already have it. So I'm just going to click on it. And this is going to fire up Anaconda Navigator. Now what's going to happen is that it's going to reach across the internet and validate what version I have installed versus what is the most recent version. And if everything's okay, it'll just fire up. If I'm running an older version that's not current, I will get a dialogue that says, hey Dave, do you want to update your Anaconda Navigator? Okay, you can see here that Anaconda Navigator has started and sure enough, I need to update the application. And I get this dialogue and it says, would you like to upgrade? If you see this dialogue, please click yes. It's just a good idea. So I'm gonna go ahead and click yes. And then it says, hey, Anaconda Navigator is running. Would you like to quit so I can update it? So I click yes. And then what'll happen is, is behind the scenes here, the Anaconda Navigator will update. So I click update now. And this might take a minute or two, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video once again. Okay, we can see here that my Anaconda Navigator is updated. So I can go ahead and click launch real quick just to verify that everything is okay. All right, everything looks great. I have everything that I need now installed on my Windows machine for this crash course. If you like what you've been seeing so far, would you mind liking the video? And if you want to keep seeing the future videos in this tutorial series, be sure to subscribe. And by the way, if you have a friend or a colleague that might be interested in learning Python, feel free to recommend this particular crash course to them. So next up in the course is going to be a quick video about what is Python, a high level overview of the Python programming language, especially as it relates to analytics and data science. Until next time, please stay healthy and happy data sleuthing.